Hello, I'm Kate Jones. I'm Head of History at the British School al Kabayat in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. But I'm originally from Wales and I'm also the author of Love to Teach and Retrieval Practice. You can follow me on Twitter at 87history. So what I wanted to talk to you about today was classroom activities and some of the common mistakes that teachers make, myself included, in the past. I want to advocate an approach to classroom planning that in regards to activities, it's low effort and high impact. The low effort is for the teacher, that these resources and activities don't take up too much of your time and effort, but that they, they really do have an impact on learning. And also when it comes to activities, we need to be very mindful. Content should be the driver and the focus and the pedagogy should just help you and the students get to where you need to be in regards to what they need to know. So classroom activities, low effort, high impact. I will give you an example of a activity I used to do quite a lot that had involved a lot of effort. And that was a simple sorting card task, which did lend itself very well to my subject with chronology. But to create the cards, and I would create cards for all the year groups that I was teaching at secondary, I would print them, I would cut them up, I would laminate them, I would put them in envelopes, and it was just a huge time consuming activity for me, and not the best use of my time actually. So there's lots of workload implications for that. And then in a lesson, it could be done very quickly. Some students might have figured it out you know, within a, a matter of minutes because I was probably uh, putting too much focus on the task design instead of the subject content. So just bear that in mind, have a look what's already out there, look for these low effort strategies that are high impact. Uh, a good example of that are retrieval activities, a brain dump is what it's called, and that's just where you ask your students to write down everything they can remember about a specific topic or something that you did in another lesson and all that's required for that is a pen and paper or they could do it digitally so that's really low effort for you but it's a hard challenging task that requires effort and retrieval so therefore it has a high impact on learning so i hope that is helpful and good luck with your teaching career